many countries. And we have to see how we can deal with that. If you take a look at the European model of farming, it's not just a question of the, the strongest should be able to survive. As I said, there is a land concentration, that issue, but we have to uh, ensure that there is income uh, for the farmers. Uh, so we have to bear these aspects in mind as well. Thank you. Kollege Flanagan, bitte. Kollege Flanagan. Uh, thank you very much. That was uh, uh, a very, very interesting report, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very important information for us when it comes to deciding on policy. And uh, I think your quote at the end was, we spent a lot of money and we don't see generational renewal. And uh, that would have to be very worrying, and even more worrying in the context of uh, how the budget for the EU is going to be spent into the future with pre pressures coming from the fact that Britain will be leaving and a lot of money is going to disappear. Also, pressures to spend money on defence, etc. And while reports like this are excellent and you don't want to shoot the messenger, um, it's very worrying because it creates an argument to stop spending money in this area. And I would hate to see that happen. So we've got to get our act together. And uh, one of the most hopeful things that I've seen since I've come in here is that, I don't know about the rest of the people in my group, but I find myself agreeing with people in groups like the EPP, etc., who regularly say, but they don't say it back home, the people in the EPP, that this money isn't divided up properly, it's going off to basically people like the Queen of England, etc., and that can't be justified. But... We can make it complicated or we can get back to making it simple. And it's like this, whether you are a carpenter, whether you are a hairdresser, or whatever profession if you're in, if you know in the morning that when you go to work that you, the money you spend on carrying out your work will not add up, will actually be less than what you're going to get for your work. In other words, you will not make any money out of it. You won't convince people to go into it. And there's nothing unique about people who want to go into farming. They would like to make a living and they would like to survive. And if they got a price for their produce, obviously the EU can do provide supports, financial supports. But there also has to be structural support and support when it comes to uh, legislation to stop massive multinational supermarkets, etc., running riot and making lots of money out of the whole food chain, but the people at the bottom of the food chain making nothing. So that has to change, because if that doesn't change, you're not going to get people involved. Plus, there are people already involved in farming who I'm sure would like to move on. They've got to an age where they probably have to move on, but they can't move on and they can't afford to move on. So something needs to be done there. But we have had a change since this report was put together. And we have, as the chairman of the Agri Committee will no doubt tell you, we've been working on this omnibus package. And we had a measure on young farmers in it, specific to young farmers. We have something on it in it to maybe provide, in the end, provide a better price for young farmers for, uh, uh, for their produce. But I'm just wondering what's the opinion of the Commission and the opinion of the ECA on the fact that uh, we did get something put in on young farmers that meant that young farmers that were already involved in a farming enterprise would still be in, entitled to the full five years of the top-up, which was great news. But a country like Ireland, and I'm just curious what you think about this, they got a situation whereby they do not have to be paid the full five years of a top-up now. There is a get-out. And I can't see how that's going to do any good. So I'm just wondering what the Commission's opinion is and the Court of Auditors' opinion is of states, given that this isn't working very well, we still have states, and namely the state I come from, I'm ashamed to say, uh, looking for get-outs when it comes to paying money to young farmers. But there have been some improvements in the omnibus package. I don't know, are, are we allowed to talk about those yet because it, it hasn't gone completely through. But uh, great work. And I won't shoot the messenger, but when the message gets out, it's going to cause a lot of problems. So we've got to do something about it. Otherwise, the money that goes to farming and should go to farming is not going to go to it anymore. Colleague Salafranca, bitte. Mr. Salafranca, please. Thank you very much, Chairman. And I'd like to thank you uh, 
for the report and